Hey there and welcome back to another video of me talking about Akiba's trip. It's already the third episode and it's still as enjoyable as the first episode so I have a really good feeling that this show will be a good ride till the end. And we got a bit more of fan service and I think that Arisa will be the character that may or may not end up naked in every single episode. Or at least without a top or in her underwear or something like this. So nothing fancy because, well, you need your kind of fan service delivering. Go I mean, a lot of shows use it. We have shows like One Piece, Fairy Tale. Sword Art Online. Oh wait, I've mentioned Sword Art Online. Should I call it an SAO video to get some clicks? Well, okay, no, joking aside, sorry, sorry. So, we are getting back to Akiba's trip and he's still living there and really not going to do his patrols with Mayo. And she's kind of pissed because of it, because he has to go there and check on for the safety, but nah, he's, he's getting into other stuff like idols and from the music he goes to music equipment, headphones and all of that technical stuff and then one day he gets the bill and he's like well oh I need a part-time job which was kind of funny because the idol stuff got him into music and those music guys were like well buy that stuff and that stuff was really expensive but going back to the music stuff or especially to the idle stuff. Well, seriously, at first I thought that the idol is a bugged one. Because that song was, well, you can't really call it a song. She was standing there, blabbling something into the microphone and the crowd was kind of going, Whoa! full party and I was like well okay it works why not <laughs> and the protagonist he was like standing there like a boss and in the end he was totally freaking out and when he got back from the gig he was like well I have to watch it live and comment it while it's a live stream and I was like okay dude calm down keep it in your pants but he was kind of freaking out and Mayo had to go out with Imoto-chan and Arisa and there were some bugged ones that attacked them but not from the get-go because the bugged ones tried to lure them into a trap and it was really cool because <coughs> they had to go to get idols so they started to make a photo shooting and wearing a bikini. Well, yeah, Mayo is also kind of backed one. So she had to put off on some gloves and some socks and look really strange with that basic school swimsuit. Oh boy. Well, but I can easily see some guys going on. Whoa, this looks awesome. New fetish born. But in the end, they were going there and the photographer was like, well, remove your bikini. And Arisa was, well, yeah, okay. I was like, oh. I'm really worried for your future girl. I mean, 
don't let it know to a certain someone who is surprisingly our protagonist that you are that easy of a girl. And we get back to the girls and Mayo stopping her. And then for some reason they started to fight because they were bugged once. And it was a really tough scene, Mayo in being in trouble and in the end our protagonist showed up because he was looking for a good job and which was totally coincidence that he would also work there. And so in the end they fought, defeated the bugged ones, defeated the big boss. And one of the leaders there was a minor bugged one, so she didn't disappear. Which would be kinda uh, scary because she's a hood woman. So yeah, you can't really let this disappear. I get it. And she was like, well, want to become idols? So the three girls were on the stage singing a song and there was a huge crowd made up of five people and the protagonist was going on full party hard and cheering on them and I was like okay that's interesting so yeah it's not Akiba's trip anymore it's Akiba's trip the idle version <claps> pun intended okay sorry that was a bad one but yeah that's it basically for now and thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Adios and bye bye.